Welcome, welcome, everyone. Um, let's go ahead and talk about the Ultron Foundation and uh, what, what it is for us. What, what do you have right now and how does it work? How is it beneficial to you? Okay, so first of all, our company's name is Mavi and we are in partnership with Ultron, the Ultron Foundation. Um, and what is the Ultron Foundation? It's a blockchain for everyone and the fastest growing blockchain in the entire world, thanks to the Mavi community and all of the members worldwide. So, um, you know, before we continue, I am not here to give you any financial advice. This is just facts, information about the companies, both, you know, Ultron and Mavi, and then the companies that are actually on the layer one blockchain. So that's all I'm giving you is just facts on that. Okay. So of course there's risk with everything we do in life. So think about this. This is crypto. This is NFTs. So make sure that you do this responsibly. Now, Although we're here to talk about the blockchain and cryptocurrency, let's talk. Let's take a look at today's current financial market. As you all know, the current market is collapsing. Fiat cash is losing its value. People around the world, um, you know, are, are starting to wake up. They're starting to realize that their money's not safe in banks, and reality's starting to set in. Actually, you know, and more and more people are looking into understanding how the blockchain and cryptocurrency works. Adapting to this change is difficult, but it's a change that. It, that's happening in the financial industry. It is evolving and people need to start adapting to it. Okay. So what are we doing here? What do we have here? We have the solution. Blockchain is the solution um, to all this chaos. You are in control of your own assets. And with every new user that we have, assets are gaining value. That's very important for us here. The more wallets we have, the more users we have, the better it is for your, your assets and the growth that you have here, okay? Now, there is no inflation due to a limited amount of currency. There is no, no middleman. There is no bank. There's nothing like that controlling your assets. Now, ladies and gentlemen, only 4% of the global population is part of this blockchain, okay? That means that the whole world is pretty much unaware how to use a blockchain or don't know anything about the blockchain. So it's very important for people to open their eyes and start getting involved, listening and learning and educating themselves of what we have. Okay. Now the problem here is why is, why has it been slow? Why is there a slow adoption? The technology behind it has been very, very complex. A lot of people don't understand. They hear Bitcoin, they hear blockchain, they hear wallets, they hear, I don't know, they hear all, you know, transaction ID, they hear all kinds of things. Right. And they're like, what, what in the world are they talking about? So it's very complex and people don't don't understand how it works. And when they don't know, they tend to stay away. They shy away from whatever it is, a fear of not understanding. And that's why it's only 4% of the global population using blockchains, cryptocurrencies, and crypto wallets, NFTs, you name it. Very, very few people. And it's it's been 13 years, as you can see here, 13 years since Bitcoin has arrived. And, and still, it hasn't even evolved as it should have, right? So Ultron is changing the game. Ultron, um, right now, their goal is to bring that 4% to a global mass adoption. And how are we going to do this, you may ask? We're using a state-of-the-art technology that will provide you education, knowledge, simplicity for you to embrace fully the shift of this financial industry. We're talking about a layer one system, an ecosystem that will be working on top of the blockchain itself, not on the second layer or the third layer, nothing like that, the first the layer one blockchain. So this makes the usability and adaptability much easier, way, way much easier, faster, and much better for any user, for any user, okay? So um, about Ultron Foundation, we have these you know, about 40 plus senior developers, okay, professionals behind the Ultron Foundation with huge, massive experience. Some of them worked previously with Polygon, Polkadot, Binance, Solana, Hyperledger, and Phantom. As you can see, they've worked in other blockchains. They have the experience, okay? So a lot of experience behind the Ultron Foundation, 30 plus months in development. It is the first layer one blockchain with its own native ecosystem on the layer one blockchain. Okay. First one, nobody's ever done that before. Okay. Now our main net was launched on June 1st of 2022. So it's been a little bit over a year that we've already been, you know, working with this blockchain. It is the fastest growing blockchain in the entire planet. We, I think we had the last time I checked it, we had 219 blockchain, layer one blockchains 
and we were in the top 10. So we are growing extremely fast and we have already processed millions of transactions, you know, executed on the chain itself. So we're in the top 10 layer one. This is this this hasn't even been updated. We're in the top 10 layer one total value locked right now. OK, that's that's tracked by DeFi Llama. All righty. So something very, very astonishing is that they had no funding. These 40 plus senior developers had no funding. They did this together and with their own funds where they were able to develop this amazing concept. And why are they doing this? They're doing this for the people because they learned from other blockchains that they worked on and realized that they can do something much stronger and much better. And that's why we're climbing the charts. Now, the next page is a little bit outdated, okay? Because we're growing so fast, we don't even have time to update our presentations. Currently today, I believe I saw that we were in seven. I don't know if, I don't know if it went back to six or I have no idea. It just keeps changing. So we are not, you know, in the ninth position, I think it's what it says here. Where are we on here? I can't remember where we are. Oh, we're on the 13th position. Oh, my goodness. You see, this is old. <laughs> I'm like, where are we? <laughs> so, you know, we're up here. We're between six, seven, and eight is where we at. Okay. So, it, I mean, we're just growing massively fast, fast, super fast. Now, guess what? We're also tracked on and integrated with, hold on a second. Something popped up on my screen. Oh, what's that? There you go. Okay. With CoinMarketCap, CoinGecko, DeFi Llama, OpenSea, Chainlist, right? We have Trust Wallet, Coinbase, Crypto.com, Binance, Missouri, MetaMask, and Token Insight. Now, ladies and gentlemen, not only are we tracked by Coinbase, Crypto.com, and Binance, we are already in their uh, watch list. So we're listed in their watch list because they're they're already considering putting us in their future trading exchanges, okay? So that's powerful. Those are the top three ones, and they already have us there in a watch list so that people can actually go ahead and trade ULX. That's what our token is. It's ULX on their platforms, okay? Now, the other exchanges that we already exist, of course, our very own Ultron Swap, right? Uniswap, one of the largest exchanges in the world. PancakeSwap, another one that's one of the largest ones out there. SuperX and XT.com. So we are, and there's a few more because this has not been updated. There's a few more that we are actually on the exchanges already. We're growing super fast, like I said. And um, we're talking about a very powerful ecosystem. It's your traditional finance built on the blockchain for everyone and for every day use, which is what I absolutely love. Everything that you're doing today, you're going to be able to do on this blockchain. And we're going to go over that in a second. Now, what has already been taken? What's, what's already taken place? What have we accomplished so far? We had our pre-launch with our amazing staking hub NFTs, as you can see here, right? Um, followed by our mainnet, which was launched on June 1st, 2022. Then Ultron launched several important protocols, such as the ULX scan, which is a blockchain explorer where you can see transparently each and every transaction from the first blockchain until today's last transacted block to the second. While we are, even while we are on this call, you can see that on there. It's just a regular blockchain. You'll be able to see everything. Okay. Then we have our Ultron swap. This is our native decentralized exchange, which is not, you know, which is not using just any token, but our very own ULX coin. We also have five cross-chain bridges with it, within it. You know, we have Ethereum, Phantom, Polygon, Avalanche, and Binance Smart Chain. This is where the ULX coin already exists that, that you can go ahead and use. You know, you can use it for, for farming or liquidity. So you can take advantage of what's there and actually make other make more money with it because you're farming or you're doing liquidity, you know, using the liquidity pool that they have there. Now, the Ultron Foundation also took part in the world's biggest blockchain conference in Dubai. They were invited to be there. And we also have Ivana Tattoo Art, which she did an NFT pre-sale that was very, very successful. And it was literally sold out in hours. Okay. I was not able to get a hold of one of those. And that's one of the NFTs that I'm missing in my collection. So I want to see if I'm trying, but they're too expensive right now, unless she launches some new ones. All right. So that's what we've already done. We also have a roadmap. Okay. So we have a roadmap. This is our roadmap. So currently we're working on a new era. And Ultron Foundation is continuously working on their roadmap. And we know exactly when things are, are taking place. And always, and it's always on target in order to bring a smooth, simple, and better experience for our partners. You will notice that we do not base our roadmap, our roadmap with dates because the blockchain itself is already in existence. Our roadmap is based on the growth of the community. We understand that it is important to release it as we grow our community rather than launch products without having the growth to support the release of a product, okay? So what, you know, you open a business, you have no clients, 
what's going to happen? Your business is not going to make any, it's not going to generate anything. So here, based on the growth of the blockchain, that's when our products get released, okay? Or the companies get released, okay? Uh, and this, again, is based on the unique user wallets within our blockchain, e with uh, which equals to the growth of the community. And as we release them, we will already have a huge community behind everything that we have here to support each release okay so um let's go over a couple of the things that we have on this roadmap we have the ultron swap this is already live okay so this is where you can swap once use forever you can swap coins and tokens provide liquidity um farm farm rewards stake coins and tokens and and you have that bridge assets all those different exchanges here okay then we have um the ulx scan the ulx scan is already live as well okay this is our, our blockchain explorer. This is where you can see addresses, transactions, contracts, blocks, NFT, metadata. This is our transparency here. This is where everything can be seen, okay? Then we have Ivana Tattoo Art. So with Ivana Tattoo, I mean, a lot of people see her and they think Ultron because she's like the face of Ultron since she started working with us. She, you know, So her, her NFTs sold out, like I said, within hours. She's been working with celebrities, very well-known celebrities like Lil Wayne, Chris Brown, Rich Kid, Quavo, Rita Ora, you know, and then she sold 600 NFTs for one Ethereum, one whole Ethereum. And this was sold, like I said, in hours, you know. Um, so she's also in collaboration with Louis Vuitton. So if you see any of his bags with an NFT on it, that, you know, design on there, that is her artwork. She's the only one that works with him, with Louis, with the company to go ahead and create that. So, um, she, yep, yeah, we launched her when we had 200,000 users. Now let's go on and talk about Lotto Day. Lotto Day is right around the corner, guys. If you have not purchased your Lotto Day NFT hub, I, 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 I'm telling you, you want to go get it because on the 30th, we will start generating daily passive income from this. Okay. And, um, so it's, it's the world's biggest crypto lottery. Okay. You can play amazing games, win amazing prizes. Uh, it's developed already and tested. It's going to pay out in USDT and ULX rewards. Um, there's a 1 million USDT jackpot every single day, every single day. And then, uh, you can play anywhere around the world and there's an affiliate program attached to it. Okay. So not only can you be part owner, but there's also an affiliate program that you can actually generate when you share your affiliate uh, link and somebody downloads the, the app, you'll get 5% every time they play a lot of, they pay for the lotto. So that's on the side. Then we have Flip Me. Well, of course, you guys have heard of Flip Me. It's an app and fiat debit card. Um, this is where you can earn cash back rewards, send and receive crypto, buy and sell coins, make payments and withdrawals, and you can learn and earn at the same time. And it also has a referral program. Okay. So I um, haven't heard about the referral program and how that works, but that's all in the works. And it's going to be released when they can release it based on the regulations of the banks, okay? Um, and this will be launched when we have 400,000 users, which we are right now at 285 users. Um, so by the end of this year, we'll have we'll have this one here, Lotto Day, launched. We should have already the 300,000 users. That'll get launched. And then next year, you know, it could be the first or the second quarter, we'll have the 400,000. That's when the product itself is going to get launched. Right now, you can become part owner, just like Lotto Day, and earn rewards, you know, revenue share points, but when people start utilizing the product, okay? Then we have Reshape. Reshape is pretty cool. It's a social data platform where you become owner of your data. In today's world, all of the social media platforms out there, they make tons of money off of your data. Anything that you post, anytime somebody clicks on it, likes it or forwards or whatever, they're making money. Are you making money? No. This is where we take control of our social um, the data, anything in social media, and you get paid for it. Okay. So this is very, very powerful because now you're in control. Nobody's deleting your stuff. Nobody's saying that you can't post that. Nobody's, nobody can tell you nothing. It's yours. You do as you wish. So this is very powerful. Um, then we have Rainbow. It's an NFT marketplace. I'm excited about this one too. This is something that's really up my alley. So this one here, you can join a world of digital art ownership with your own NFT marketplace. This is where your NFTs will come to life. You can buy and trade rare pieces. You can sell your own artwork. So if you design your own artwork, you get paid for that when people purchase those from you. You can mint your collectibles. You can display your collectibles. You can attract fans. You want to have fans. This is a nice way to attract fans. And then that will grow your influence. And when you grow your influence, the more people will purchase your personal NFTs or your rare pieces that you may have purchased that you want to sell. 
Okay, so this is really, really cool. I'm, I'm actually looking forward to that. Then we have Ballers. It's a football metaverse. This is very, this is mind blowing. Okay, this is something very interesting because this is where you could actually discover the, um, you know, set, set up a whole metaverse of football. You could, you could build your own football team. Each player as a, um, each player is an NFT. Own your own stadium and training facilities. Customize your team branding. Buy and sell objects. Buy and sell and trade players. Train players and play on tournaments. So when you play on tournaments, you can win prizes, you know? So again, this is something that a lot of people are saying, yeah, but what, what, what do I get out of it? It all NFTs all mean money. You have an NFT, you can sell an NFT. You train a good NFT player in there and you want to sell that NFT player to another team, somebody else, they will purchase it from you if they're actually playing in the tournaments. So it is very powerful. Um, I'm not big on football, but I will build a stadium and I'll try to build some stuff in there and try to sell it, you know, because it's all about making money. I'm not sure how this is going to work, but I'm pretty excited about that one too. Then we have lending and borrowing. Of course, that's up my alley, 34 years in the banking um, industry. This is where you can actually lend, borrow, and grow your assets. So you, you can become the bank, okay? You can earn interest. You can borrow assets to earn in um, assets and you can lend assets to earn assets. Okay. So uh, again, who needs a bank anymore? <laughs> we're we're going to be doing all of this, you know, on our ecosystem. That's why when I said at the beginning, it's like everyday life, everything that you do every single day, you're going to be able to do it in our ecosystem. It's going to be available for you. Here's the next one. The Launchpad. Launchpad is a crowdfunding platform. You know, it's like GoFund or, or any, anything like that. This is where you can actually create your own project for funding and get it confirmed by a DAO, right? By the DAO, I'm sorry, and promote and present it, get funded and develop and deploy. Okay. So I have a crowdfunding platform on the Tron network. This is where I'm going to actually move that and recreate it here. It's for education. It's funding for schools, funding for, you know, Bible studies. It's funding for anything education, you know, so I'm really excited about this because that's where I'm going to remove it from there. I can't remove a smart contract from the Tron blockchain, but I know that I can recreate the same one and uh, I'm planning on doing that here. So this is really cool because it's all automated, you know, all on the blockchain. Again, everything is changing. Everything's coming forward to something that is very powerful, like traditional, but better, way much better. The goal is to bring 25 trillion from Web 2, which is what we're all used to, uh, um, to our Web3 in Ultron. So as you can see here, Flip Me. What is Flip Me going to do? It's going to take care of PayPal, um, Revolt, N26. You know, it's going to take care of that traditional stuff that we do. We use Flip Me now. Um, Lotto Day. If you play the Mega Millions, if you play Power, um, Powerball or Euro Jackpot, whatever it is that you play, you know, if you play Lottery or whatever it is, Lotto Day is taking care of that, okay? Then we have Ultron Swap. That takes care of eToro, MetaTraders, anything that you do with trading, That we have that here. Then we have the Metaverse, so Meta, right, from Facebook. We have for the, our, our ballers, right? And then we have lending and borrowing. Who needs Eurobank or JP Morgan or Bank of America or HSBC? They're going to check your credit when you want to do a loan. Here, you don't have to worry about that. It's crypto. It's a smart contract. It's the contract doesn't care what your credit is. The contract cares what's in your wallet, okay? So it's different. It's totally different. Um, so it's, it's, I'm telling you, this is going to change the whole way that we do things on a daily basis completely. Then we have the launch pad. So you have Kickstarters, you have GoFundMe. We have our launch pad that's going to take care of, you know, crowdfunding. And then we have social media. You have a TikTok account, you have Instagram, you have Snapchat, you have Facebook, you have Twitter, whatever it is that you have. We have Reshape and you're going to get paid for your data. OK, not other people getting rich off of your data. You get paid for your data. And that to me is very powerful because I'm very skeptical on putting stuff on social media. You know, so now I'm even better. Um, I don't have to worry about it because now I know that I'm in control. I own it. And if I want to get rid of it, I get rid of it. Nobody tells me I cannot get rid of it or nobody can delete it for me. So very, very, very cool. OK, so. This is it. You're probably asking, how can I benefit from benefit from this ecosystem? There's only one key that can unlock your future and allow you to benefit from the entire ecosystem. As I mentioned at the beginning, it's based off of unique wallets. Those unique wallets, it's what creates the amount of people in our community. And that's when we get to the next step. When you have a staking hub, that is a unique wallet. Okay. So let me go ahead and introduce to you the staking hub NFT, the easiest entry into the blockchain. I call this one my five-year retirement plan, okay? This is my five-year retirement plan. I absolutely love the um, NFTs because if you understand how powerful this is, then you're going to embrace it just as much as I do. 
I do like the Lotto Day. I love the Flip Me, but I purchase an NFT once a month. You know, I might up it to a higher amount, but I'm purchasing a 500 one every month. Okay. So with the staking at Hub NFT, um, this is an, a distribution unit on the chain that gives you five years of staking rewards and unlocks the full participation in the eco Ultron's ecosystem. Okay. So um, what happens is you purchase it, you stake it, it compounds for a year, you build your legacy. OK, we're going to go over this for you guys, what this means. So here's a staking hub NFT explained. So it's a five year staking plan daily. If you leave it with auto stake on daily, you will receive 0.2 percent as uh, in ULX rewards. OK, this means that within the five years, you'll get approximately from 310 to 311 percent um, by the end of the five years. OK. Now, there is a halving each year, which we want the halving to happen because we all know when there's an halving, that means the pricing goes up. And we are audited. We have Solidity Finance actually auditing everything that's taking place. Now, how does this work? What happens when you have your, uh, your, your you have a, a staking hub? If you leave the auto stake on, this is where you start, wherever you start right here, your first year, you've gained 107% more of those tokens. So if you bought, let's say, $5,000 in um, ULX and you receive, let's say 12,000 tokens. Uh, I'm just throwing a number out there. I'm not sure how, how much you would get, but let's say it's 12,000. You would receive 107% more in just one year. Okay. So if you bought it at five cents and in that year, it's at 20 cents, guess what? You made 15 cents on each one of those. Okay. Each token that you have, and now you have 107 of those. So you do the math. Okay. In three years time, you'll have 258. And by the end of the five years, it'll be between 310, 311%. Okay. Now that's if you leave the auto stake on. If you take the auto stake off, this means that you're able to withdraw your gains. You know, if you have, you've, you've got, you've gained some ULX, you can go ahead and withdraw those, but you will earn only 1%, 0.1% instead of 0.2%. Now we're talking about 70% is going to be the overall growth. Okay throughout the five years. So the first year, you're going to get 36%. Still good, guys. It's still good. Some people will have it on, you know, on auto stake off and some people won't, but it's still good. Now in three years time, you get 63, 63% and by the end of the five years, it's going to be 70%. Okay. So you do have the option. I always say leave the staking on because the staking, if you're a customer, it's entirely up to you. But if you're building and you're building a binary, you want to leave the auto stake on because it's going to help you with your growth in the binary. Okay. So, Let's think about long term. Don't think short short term. Let's let's think long term. Why is auto stake so important? When Ethereum hit, you know, came out in 2016, when it when it when the blockchain was created and their token was created and Ethereum was out, it started at about 30 cents, if I recall. It was about 30 cents. Yeah, it was 30 cents in 2016. What's happening with Ultron is what happened with Ethereum right now. It's happened to all of the all of the cryptos out there. It starts with this flat line. Yes, we're going up and down with the cents, right? Because we were at one cent, we've reached 18 cents, we've gone down to 15 cents, we went back up to 16 cents, we now have 13 cents, I think, the last time I checked. You know, so we keep going down, but it looks like a flat line, okay? It's going to happen, it's going to then go to this little rocky road here. It's going to get exciting a little bit, and then it's going to drop down again, but that's normal, okay? This is something that we've seen over the last decade, how crypto goes up in value on, you know, it, within its first five to six years. They all start with that flat line. Then again, it goes down again. People get worried. They start selling. instead. And, and this is what we have to learn. We have to learn to follow the trends that have happened with each one of them. But at, by the end of the fifth or sixth year, it'll hit that high, high, um, the highest uh, spike that they can actually have. And with Ethereum, it was 4,810. Okay. Imagine if you had held your Ethereum when you first, if you purchased Ethereum, that is, and you purchased it at 30 cents and held it for five well, five and a half years approximately, right? And each Ethereum that you had was $4,810. You'd be rich. You'd have tons of money on your hands, right? But a lot of us didn't do that. I'm one of them. I'm guilty. A lot of us didn't do that. We didn't hold on to it. So now you have the opportunity to utilize the staking hub for being a Mavi um, customer or partner. You can only get the staking hub through us. You can't get it anywhere else with this, this high return, okay? So you... You get your staking hub, you let it sit there for five years. That's why we're not thinking short term. Like That's why I call it my retirement plan. And in five years, whatever the token is at that time, you're going to have that much more tokens in your hands. 
So ideally it would be do not do not withdraw. Keep it in there as long as you can, because then you're going to be kicking yourself. Trust me, you're going to be kicking yourself if you do withdraw it ahead of time. OK, but let's not miss it again. OK, so this is where we are today. Our vision is to reach 100 million users or unique wallets and have a thousand decentralized applications in our native system. So again, this is where we are today right here, okay? And since our launch last year, Ultron Foundation has kept all of their promises and they've over-delivered everything that they promised us. And they have proven and, um, and, and shown that, you know, by being in DeFi Llama, being in the top 10 right now, you know, with all of the blockchains, 219, I believe, layer one blockchains. So they've proven that their hard work is actually working you know it's, it's actually it's, it's it's getting people's attention so as you can see um we start here with the community this is where you start you start here which means there's more people using it because there's no more people being added to the community it's going to attract new development more projects that are going to come onto the blockchain right on the layer one and it's going to bring more community that's why we launch things when the community's growth is there because it's going to help it grow stronger and stronger and stronger okay so um Let's not miss that again. You have a choice. Your, your choice is to buy it on the exchange. You can go ahead and get your MetaMask. You can go ahead and purchase, you know, Ultron and you can just hold on to it. But you're going to have the same amount of Ultron. OK, if, if you get a thousand of these tokens, Ultron tokens or coins, right, it's going to be a thousand of them by the end of five years. But if you buy the same thousand with the staking hub, right, you're going to gain 311 percent more. OK, so. Think about that. Those who like to huddle like I do, you want to hold on for dear life with your, your crypto, this is the way to go. Get yourself a staking hub and watch how that works. Now, we do have a site, um, Telegram group, that you can go ahead and scan this, be part of the Telegram group. I know that some of you guys are in my Telegram group. I forward whenever I, you know, I, I'm, I'm able to, I forward whatever information is there. But if you want to get it firsthand, that's the place to go. I'm going to stop sharing for a second. Um, see if there's any questions, anybody who has any questions at this point or anybody who would like to share a testimonial about their staking hubs. <clears throat> Don't be shy. <laughs> you can raise your hand or you can put it. Let me see. Oh, there's something in here. Let's see. Could you monetize your own NFTs to generate money? Monetize your own. Well, you're going to be moving them into your wallet. OK, once they're in your wallet, it's yours. Then you're going to start receiving funds. OK, it's going to pay you. So um, I hope that's what you're asking. Um, one second. I'm going to get to the Mavi presentation now and I'm going to do the comp plan on the Mavi presentation. And then I'm going to dive in a little bit more into the um, the staking hubs, because I, I promised you guys that I was going to talk about the staking hubs a little bit more today. So uh, what is the cost of the staking hubs? We're going to go over that right now. Vikram. Yeah, we're going to go over that. I wrote that before seeing the launch pad. <laughs> okay. Okay. Gotcha. 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 All right. So let me share my screen. I, if you guys only, those were the questions. Let me share my screen. Let me go over the comp plan. Okay. Too excited. I know, Elson. <laughs> we get excited. I know. So let's go over this so you understand how you can actually become part of this wonderful opportunity that's been presented to you. Okay. So let's go over this. This is how you're going to learn how to get rewarded with your staking hubs, your gaming hubs, okay? So I'll go over the gaming hubs a lot of day a little bit here, okay? So let me go here. These are our staking hubs. The staking hubs, we have we have all of these right here. You have the Solar Ranger, which starts at 100. We have the Star Catcher, which is 300. Space Surfer is 500. Then we have the Galaxy Explorer for 1500. We have the Sun Seeker for 5000. We have the Moonwalker for 12,500. And we have the Cosmic Whale for 30,000. OK, so these are all of our NFTs that are available today for you. OK, any special NFTs that you may have heard of, they're already sold out. Um, these are the only ones that we have right now. OK, <clears throat> so then we have our gaming hubs. So this is the Lotto Day. We have our Lucky 8 for $100. We have the Wise Elephant for 300 We have the Fortune Panda for 500 We have the Raging Bull for 1500 the Wealthy Tiger for 5000 the Raising, uh, Rising Phoenix for 12500 and we have the Mighty Dragon for 30000 Okay. So to get started with Mavi, you would have to, you would want to get a staking hub. That's the first way, way to go is to get a staking hub because that's going to help the growth of the community. Okay. Now, once you decide to join Mavi, how do you start? You can become a customer and own NFTs, you know, just own whatever NFTs you want and not have to worry about building a team or anything like that. Or you can be a partner and being a partner means that you are going to purchase a back office subscription. That's forty nine dollars per year and your NFT. 
Okay, you start with your staking hub NFT is the best way to start. Okay, um, so you will not receive bonuses as a customer and you will not receive binary volume accumulation. None of that will take place. But if you're a partner and you pay for the 49, the first 30 days free. Okay, first 30 days, you don't have to worry about it. And then you can pay the 49. Um, you'll receive bonuses and you'll get your binary volume there. OK, our direct bonus is 7 percent. And I have to correct something that I said last week. I said that it goes up to 10 percent. That was a a uh, promotion that we had way back in March, I think it was when we had the, the event in Dubai. So we had a little promotion and those who got in got the 10 percent. I don't know if they'll bring it back, but if they do that promotion again, then you guys can probably partake that. So everybody gets right now a direct bonus of 7%. You share this with somebody, you will receive 7% on your staking hubs, 7% on the gaming hubs, and 7% on the payment hubs, the um, flip me cards, um, NFTs, okay? The bonus will be credited directly into your back office and you can withdraw that from your back office, okay? Then we have, this is very important for you to listen to this part. Because if you just got started or you're about to get started, we have a special promotion. It's called the Fast Start Bonus, where you can get 50% back of your staking hub value. Okay, what does this mean? This means that you come in, let's say with 500. I'm just going to throw 500 in here. And you, you, in, in your first 30 days, you bring in 15 people. But five of them, at least five of them got 500. They purchased the 500. You will receive back 250 from that. OK, the company will give you back 250 from that. But keep in mind that let's say you did bring 15 people, but out of the 15 people they bought, there, there was five that did 5,000. You can go ahead and purchase a 5,000 one and get 2,500 back as long as it's done within those first 30 days. OK, so it doesn't matter where you place them on the binary. It doesn't matter if they're all on one side. It doesn't matter if half of, you know, two are here, three are there or four are here, one is there. But you will get your 50 percent back regardless where you place them on your binary. OK, so speaking of binary, we do have a binary bonus. It's called a team bonus and um, you get 10 percent on the weaker leg. So from the weaker leg, you get that 10 percent. So, for example, on your left side, let's say you have one hundred and fifty thousand binary volume points right from sales. And then on the uh, right side, you have 80,000 binary volume points from your sales on that side or from your team or spillover. It could be a little bit of everything. Right. You will get 10 percent. So this being the weaker leg it's going to give you a bonus of $8,000, okay? So that's the example there, all right? Now, if we go over here, we're gonna talk about um, your staking hub. So the higher staking hub, the higher your weekly cap for receiving bonuses is, okay? And that's very important for you to keep an eye on. Now, all of these that are here are gonna give you immediately a 5,000, okay, weekly cap. And your ranking will also drive it a little bit higher. OK, so you'll see that. Um, so if you purchase a 5,000, it will go to 10,000. If you purchase one for 12,500, it'll go to 20,000. And if you have one for 30,000, it'll be 30,000. OK, now I'm going to go over the ranks and rewards. So we also have these ranks and rewards where you can receive a, uh, additional re cash um, prizes, bonuses starting at 500. So you can see that right here, up to $10 million. Yes, <laughs> okay. So you'll get started as a qualified partner. And then you can start ranking from iron to silver to gold to pearl, sapphire. Once you reach sapphire right here, right? It's going to change a little bit. You, you'll you get that 500 USD cash, um, USDT cash prize bonus, right? And then, um, but remember, there's two qualifiers. The first qualifier is your weaker leg has to have a certain amount of volume, binary volume. And your second qualifier is your personal orders, what NFTs that you own. OK, so, for example, for Sapphire, it says here, let me look at the screen because it's tiny over here, um, 25,000 on your weaker leg. You only have to have 200 in, in NFTs in order to qualify. And now your weekly cap goes up to 8,000. You see how that changes? Even though it's only 200, it's going to be 8,000. So your ranking is going to help you with that. And then you get that $500 bonus. And as you continue to rank up, you're going to get a higher bonus. Once you get to diamond, what's going to happen here is you're going to unlock the matching bonus. That's 5%. So every time somebody in your team direct to you or indirectly direct to you, right, gets a buy, uh, matching bonus, um, gets a binary bonus, you will get a matching 5% bonus of that. And you'll get the first level here. Once you go to uh, Blue Diamond, you get uh, two levels, you know, first one and second. And it'll continue all the way down to seven levels. OK, so as you can see, that'll continue growing down that way. All righty. So um, and then I did ask about the NFT rewards. 
it, this was a pin back in the day. I remember that we were getting, we were going to get these pins when we go to the events. Um, they are re uh, assessing how they're going to handle that. Okay. So I haven't heard. They said they'll follow up with me as soon as they have the answer for that. So I just wanted to get that out there because people have asked me, what are the NFT rewards? All right. So we also have a ULX buyback support. Okay. So from all of the rewards that you get, all of the bonuses that you get, there's a 70 goes to the cash account, which is withdrawable in USDT. And then 30% goes to your bonus hub NFT. This is your, um, this is ULX that is bought on the Ultra and swap and added to your bonus hub NFT in your back office for additional staking rewards. Okay. So that's basically the comp plan. So I'm going to stop sharing here. Let me see if anybody has any questions before we, I show you my back office with staking hubs and all that good stuff. Let me open my mobby here. Any questions? Any questions? <clears throat> Drink some water. My voice. <laughs> all right. So let me go here. Let's go. Let me share my screen now. All right. So here we are staking hub NFTs, right? So this is where you would purchase your NFTs. Okay. You have, they start from higher to lower, right? So if you're going to go lower, start, I always tell people scroll from the bottom and work your way up that way, you know, <laughs> which one you're getting. So a hundred's at the bottom. And then if you decide to purchase one, what you would do is you would select the hub that you want. You would come over here in this case. Um, if I had 1500 here, it would give me the option to purchase it here on my bonuses that I have in my back office, right? But I don't, so it's not going to let me do that. I can buy with USDT Tether. There you go, the 1500. You select how you want to pay it. If it's going to be Ultron, you're going to select that. If it's going to be BEP20, um, Binance Smart Chain BEP20, select that. If it's Tron, go ahead and select that. And then it tells you to verify that you have the right, you know, the right uh, blockchain. Yes, I understand. And I want the address. You create your order. And it's going to give you your wallet. You click your wallet, send it to yourself, send the payment of $1,500 there. For those who have not paid the $49, it gives you an option here to go ahead and make both of those payments together. So you're saving fees on the blockchain. So you can pay $1,549. Okay. So once you have this, you can go ahead, to, go ahead and make that payment. I'm going to close this out. It's going to bring me to my orders. And I am going to cancel this because I'm not going to pay for that. I'm going to confirm that because I'm not paying for that. <laughs> okay. And then once you pay for it, it's going to show up in your hubs. So you go to my hubs and then you can go ahead and scroll down to your NFT hubs. Let me see, where are they? Right here. Okay. So you can see, you can go down to your NFT hubs. Okay. Um, yeah. And then you can just see, you know, you can see the purchase here. It's going to give you your order ID number. It's going to give you an NFT ID that's on the blockchain. And you can always go into the blockchain by clicking on your unique wallet. Remember, we all get a unique wallet. So that unique wallet is created when you have a staking hub. You click over here. This is your unique wallet. And no, I don't want to see my MetaMask go away. Okay. <laughs> so it, it just wants, it's connected. So it, it knows. Um, so now here, if you go to your transactions, you're going to see that I have, I guess, 14 transactions on here and all of my minted, um, you know, hubs that I have. So NFTs. So you can see this is a uh, ULX. This is gaming hubs, you know, and then one payment hub. So everything else is, you know, Ultron. See, as you can see, I always purchase a a uh, staking hub once a month. Every, or I'm always buying a staking hubs. So that's how you can see that. Um, let's close that one. Let's close that one. Let's see. So that there. And then withdrawals are very simple. You want to go ahead and set up your 2FA. Okay. You want to set up your email verif um, 2FA and your Google Authenticator. And once you sell, do that, you can go ahead and do a withdrawal. So I'm going to go over here and show you guys how a withdrawal works. Let me get my wallet, my uh, cell phone, because I'm going to need information from here on my cell phone. <clears throat> Let me go into my email before I get started. So you just click on withdrawal once you've set all of that up. And when you go to withdrawal, um, let me go in my email here. Okay. Once you go here, you enter the amount. It does not take sense. So you want to just do... In this case, it's 1,298 because um, you can't enter the cents. And then select the blockchain that you want. I usually do Tron, so that's my wallet. Click on withdraw. And then it says, make sure you have the right network. Make sure you have the right address. Um, you verify that, say, okay. Click on withdraw. Now it's going to ask you to send an email. That's how you want to set up the 2FA for your email. 
it's going to send that over. Now I'm going to get that over here. I'm going to refresh my email real quickly. <clears throat> there it goes. I just got it here. I'm going to go ahead and put in that code that I got from the email. All right. And then my 2FA for my Google Authenticator. So let me get my Google Authenticator. Here it goes. And put that in here. Right. And then confirm. Success. And it could take up to 48 hours. Usually it's quicker than that, but it could take up to 48 hours for that to get processed. OK, um, so then you can see your earning history. Anything that's happened, you'll see that here All your gains. Um, you can filter your gains. So for, let's say, um, ranks, you know, these are rank rewards. So be when I reached Sapphire, I got a 500. When I reached Ruby, I got a thousand. Emerald, I got 1500. Diamond rank, I got 3000. Blue diamond, it was 10,000. So those are the bonuses that I've already received. If I click on it, it's going to tell me exactly when I got it. So this was on August 3rd when I received the 10,000 or when I withdrew the 10,000. No, the bonus date was on that day. Okay. And payment date. Okay. So I guess it gives you both. Let me see. Sapphire, I did that on the same day. Let me see. Not strange because I know some of them I didn't do quickly. Uh, it has both dates on there. So maybe it's not what I think it is. Yeah, no. Okay. It has this, even though I didn't withdraw it that day, I guess it, it accounts for it showing up in your back office when you claim it. Okay. So um, that, that on your home, you should have special messages up here. Like if you qualify for something, if you haven't done your, your KYC, it'll probably be up here. I remember it being up there when I first started. So you'll see the, these little messages of things that you have. It'll show you when you rank up up here, you know, it'll say, congratulations, you're a qualified partner, you're an iron or you're gold. You know, it'll show you how much you've earned so far, how much you have each week. Um, it'll tell you your subscription here. If you want to add 40, you know, pay the 49, you can just click here and it's going to go ahead and take you here so you can go ahead and extend it and pay for the 49. OK, um, let's see. What else can I show you here? Um, yep, I'm just that's that's all I'm going to show you guys there. Let me go to ranking um, here on the ranking. You will see what you need for each rank. So for qualified partner, you have to be a registered member. Do your KYC. You have to own one or more staking hub. It has to be a staking hub. Because if not, this is not going to check off, okay? Then you have to have one active person on the right, one active person on the left. Um, and then you become a qualified partner. For iron, um, for iron, you have to have at least 300 on the week, week team. Um, the 40, 40, 20 has to be 300, okay? What does that mean? That means um, the rule is that you have three personally sponsored individuals, two of them are 40, and the rest is 20. OK, the, you know, so that's how that works. And then on your strong team, which sometimes it's a spillover, sometimes it's your inner leg, depending on how you, how fast you build it, you have to have at least sixty dollars and then personal orders at least one hundred dollars. OK, so this is the ranking chart that you saw here. It's easier to read, I guess, than looking at the other one and you become an iron. So as you can see, silver will tell you what you need. Be a thousand. OK, a thousand, thousand, two hundred, one hundred. Um, gold, it'll show you exactly what you need. Three thousand, three thousand, six hundred, one hundred. And then Pearl will be 10,000, 10,000, 2,000, and 100. So still, your personal orders are very low. See, um, Sapphire, here's where you... Oh, my, my TV just turned on. Why did that turn on? <laughs> I think my kids are doing playing tricks on me. Okay, so um, they have it on their cell phone. So here, it, Sapphire, you get your first $500 bonus. Okay, so weaker team is 25,000. Um, 40, 40, 20 is 25,000. 5,000 on your strong team. 200 your personal orders, okay? Ruby, now you get 1,000. So as you can see, each one is going to show you. If you go there, you're going to see what you need to be focusing on so that you can get to the next level. So for example, I'm a blue diamond now. My green diamond, um, it says nine, 953,700. So I'm very close to becoming a green diamond. Once I do that, um, there's 15,000 that I get as a bonus. And I can, act, uh, once that happens, I can claim the rank here and it gives me the payout immediately. So once I hit that, I'll do that live for you guys on a call so you guys can see how that works, okay? And then Black Diamond, it's, I'm already looking at this, see where I'm at, how what I need to do to get to the 2 million. So, you know, I always look ahead. That way I'm, I start preparing myself. All righty, so let me stop sharing. Oh, well, no, let me not stop sharing. Let's go to this one. Yeah, let's go to this one. So here's the Ultron Foundation uh, site. OK, so um, here you can actually go to technology and go to the staking hub. And you can actually play with the numbers here. 
Okay, so if you purchase a staking hub, just like the Lotto Day, just like the uh, Flip Me card, they have a calculator. So you can go ahead and if you're doing a 1500, for example, and you stake it for one full year, but the second year you only stake it for half a year, you want to withdraw some. You know, if you do then the third year whole, the whole year, and then you do half a year, the fourth year, you know, it'll show you what's happening and what you're going to end up getting in your LX. Okay, so um, if you don't, you know, if you don't stake it at all, you know, you're just going to get the 1%. That way you were drawing all the time. It's going to see how the numbers start changing here. Your, your growth is going to be 70%. Okay. So in ULX. So that's in USDT value according to the price that they have here, which is 0 0.10 cents. Okay. So you got to look at that there. Now, if you do all of it, all, all the whole five years, which is what I'm planning on doing is keeping them all there. Um, then you get the 310 and a half. That's why I was saying on the presentation, you know, close to 311%. So you can see that'll grow to that much. Okay. Um, but play with this, look at the, instead of looking at this 10 cents, look at what the value is. You can always go to, where's my coin market cap? Um, right here, right here. So right now today, I believe it's at 13. Yep. Let me refresh that just in case. Oh, it's at 12, 12. So it went down a little bit, right? So you just go off of that. So that way, you know, what's going on there. Um, so you can see what's going on. And then if you want to look at DeFi Llama, see where we at. We have, let me, it's refreshing. We have 219 chains and we are in number seven. So we are still in top 10. Okay. So we're number seven out of 219 layer one blockchains. All right. Ethereum being the first, we have Tron, Binance, you know, we have a few of them. And I always like to point out that Bitcoin's below us. We're, uh, we're uh, even ahead of Bitcoin. So that's pretty powerful. All right, so let me stop sharing. I see a couple of questions in here or something. I wrote that before. Okay, no, here it goes. What does active partner mean? Active partner means that when you bring somebody in, they purchased a, a um, staking hub, okay? They, they purchased something. That's an active per partner. So you can put somebody you can put somebody in your downline, but if they don't purchase one, then it's not an active person as your downline. Yep, as your downline. Can we do a mix some out on? So, yes, you can, Vikram. Yes, you can. A lot of people do that. So if you want to have, you know, if you want to do 3,000, you could do 1,500, 1,500, and then have one 1,500 completely for the whole five years on, and then you can play with the other one, turn it off and on as you want, okay? When you do that, let me just share my screen again. When you do that, and I haven't done it on mine, but I've seen it on some people who have done it. Um, let me go to here. Okay. So when you do that, if we go to the staking hub, um, my hubs, there you go. If you turn it off, let's say I wanted to turn this one off. It's going to give you all kinds of warnings. At first, I was so afraid of touching this, but it gives you warnings. You're changing this. It's going to change it drastically. You know, uh, you're going to have loss of this, loss of that. You agree, you agree, and then, you know, turn it off. Right? I'm not going to do it. But once you turn that off, whatever you have available in the, you know, and the one that you're turning off, it's going to become available right up here. And when it's available right up here, then you have the withdrawal process that you can do. Okay. I don't know how the withdrawal process works because I have not withdrawn. As you can see, I don't, I, I have all of mine staked, but that's, that's how you would do it. And then we can do it together when somebody's ready to do that. Okay. The person has to purchase a hub or a staking hub, an active person. It has to have a, an NFT. They have to own an NFT. Okay. They don't have to have a staking hub, but, it has to be, you know, they have to have a, a, a NFT on. Can you turn it back on? Yes, you can turn it back on. Mm -hmm. Before you couldn't. So before you couldn't turn it back on, now you could turn it back on. So they've given us the capability of turning it back on. So that's going to fluctuate the amount that you're gaining. Because if you turn it off for a few months and then turn it back on for a few months, it's going to just fluctuate throughout, you know. That's why those sliders are there. So if you keep the whole year, if you do half of a year, if you do one quarter of the year, with, you know, on or off, you know, that's going to change and fluctuate how much you're going to be receiving. Okay. Good question, Tina. Um, let's see. But the staking hub is needed to rank up. Isn't that correct, Brenda? Because it supports the ecosystem. Um, no, not necessarily the staking hub. So let me see. I think I have it over here. Let me go back. For ranking up, you have to own NFTs, personal orders, okay? So if you turn off, like if all you have is staking hubs and you don't have Lotto Days or you don't have um, Flip Me Car, you know, Flip Me's, um, and it's just staking hubs, if you turn it off, it's going to not allow you, if you're utilizing it, 
to rank up. And I'll show you right here. All right. So here it says personal orders, right? If you have, let's say you're a diamond and it's 2000 and you have two NFTs, one for 1500, one for 500. And you're like, you know what? On the 500, I'm going to turn it off just to mess around with it. Just to see how that works. The moment you do that, you're no longer a diamond because now it's no longer state. Okay. So your personal orders will drive this here. OK, but if you unstake any of your staking hubs, it can affect your rank. OK, um, you know, but it's a combination of all of your NFTs here. All of your NFT, NFTs is what help, because I don't have um, I can tell you right now, I don't have, you know, five, uh, five thousand staking hubs. I don't have five thousand staking hubs. I have it. I have it in different NFTs all across. And I'm a blue diamond. OK, for green diamond, which I'm really, really close I, I'm, I, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I do. I do have over 5,000, 12,500 is what I meant to say. I don't have 12,500 in staking hubs. I have it across different things, but um, my, you know, my purchases, which is 43,500 already makes me qualify for this here. Okay. So um, yeah, it, it all depends on you turning it off. If you're really on the edge and you have exactly what you need, if you take one of those off, it will affect your rank and you'll go backwards. Okay. So that, that I believe that's how it works. <clears throat> Let's see. TJ hasn't been feeling good. His throat has been bothering him. I don't know if Vishal wants to say anything. I'm just unmuting whoever unmutes. <laughs> I was checking my wallet to see if I got the uh, the withdrawal. Oh, there goes Vishal. Hi, Brenda. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, as always, you know, I can't say anything that you guys haven't already said. Um, you know, you're in the right place at the right time, um, you know, and you know, if you if you're thinking about it, then, you know, you're a, as they say, a paralyzed mind does nothing good. So, you know, stop thinking, get off the fence, kick the tires on this thing and see what happens. Um, you know, there's a lot of people that wish that that, you know, look back now when they had opportunities to purchase Bitcoin and to purchase Ethereum and all those guys and they didn't do it. Um, you know, even even um, it's a funny story. I share this really quickly. I have some relatives who had the opportunity to purchase Apple stock, uh, the company was offering it way back when, when Apple was just, you know, um, really, really coming on the scene and they didn't do it. And so now they kick themselves about not, you know, not doing that. Don't be that person, <laughs> you know, don't be that person when you're looking back and we were having these presentations and um, everything is, you know, just exploded and you're like, man, if I had gotten, gotten in when, you know, the ULX was, you know, a couple of bucks or uh, like 10 cents or whatever, where would I be now? So don't be that person. So as I always say, you study long, you study wrong. So again, guys, um, come on board. We're looking forward to having you guys. You're with a great team, one of the largest and fastest growing teams in the company. Um, we have great leadership, phenomenal training, um, and that's what you need to be successful in this business. And that's what we have. So have a great night. Thanks again, Brenda. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sharing, Visha. Thank you. Let me share this with you guys. So, so um, um, our office, our corporate office in Dubai will only have 12 top teams recognized in the office. And we made it to that wall of fame. So let me share my screen here. Yes, that's true. I, f I forgot about that. Here you go. That's us right here. Once it went up. That's us right there. Oh, it went too fast. There he goes. That's us right there. Diamonds in the making is what our name is. So that's that's where we are. Now we're part of the Immortals, okay? Immortals is our top one. And then we are under MB Group, right? So and then under MB Group, then we go to Diamonds in the Making. Okay. Some of these guys are, are below us as well. So like um AI Global's below us. Okay. Um, let me see. There's another one. Let's see. Is it Titans? Unity? I think, yeah, I think it's Titans below us. And then Success for All is between the MB group, but we're not with them. We're tied to the MB group, but they're above us somewhere. Okay. So just so you guys have an idea where we land with all that. And then they have only two spots left, as you can see. Two more spots here. And that's it. Okay, so we are part of the wall of fame. 
which is pretty exciting. That's why when we had um ja Joshua Jasa Jasa, I don't know how to say his name. He he pronounces it different. Um he said, Oh, now I know what that logo is in the office. Now I know who the team is. Yeah, because he had no I have I'd never met him before. I talked with um other people in there, you know. So that was pretty interesting when he says, Now I know who it is. It's so incredible that our team is showcased in the main office. I know it is really cool, really cool. So we are doing really well. I mean, you know, you don't see a lot of people at our calls, but we have a lot of team players in our call. I mean, in our group, our team is huge. We have a huge group in here. Um, we have a total of, I'll tell you right now, of our group together. 25,000, about 25,300 people in our team. It's a lot of people. We have a lot of people in our group. Okay. So it's, it's, it's massive, massive, the amount of, I mean, every day there's more people being added is we're growing really, really fast. So um, yeah, the, but we're in there. So that's pretty cool. We are showcased up there. So it's exciting. Yeah. Thank you, Luciano, for reminding me of that. Alrighty guys. So